everybody, welcome back to another Mamba moment of the Kobe Bryant Challenge. We are on Mission 5, as this one's going to take a look of March 16th, 2007. This is Scoring Machine. Now, it all happens to be under this game, and is the second highest scoring game of Kobe's career. Launching the start for a 4 game 50 point streak by the Mamba, who simply willed the Lakers to victory. You can honestly say it's a crowd wild favorite, but it's not always the biggest thing that everybody calls for. And you can't just really tell them how much you get. You have to be better at it to play all the hard work you do. And with that one, this is what happens. Playing by this other game is not very easy enough to try to get into this one. So all you gotta do is keep on trying. 65 points, shoot at least 50%, and holding Brandon Roy under 15 points. Keep an eye on that one if you get it there. And if you can get a free steals, that will be excellent. But I'm gonna try my best to do this one as well. Now it's time for mission number five, and let the Mamba mission start. Let's go. Hey guys, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to follow, like this one, and drop a like in the video, and share it with you guys if you have done the Mamba moments, and then share it to one of your friends who haven't done this challenge. It's the best way to support for this channel by clicking the notification button of the bell icon. So that way, you'll get tons of more notifications right on my channel. And now, let's get started. Enjoy the fifth mission of the Mamba Moment. Seven consecutive losses, injuries, slipping at the standings. Nothing is going right for the Lakers. Will Kobe and company finally get a win tonight? Or will the Blazers add to the Lakers' misery? Dusk in the City of Angels. Just a fantastic day here in Los Angeles. Welcome everyone to Staples Center with the czar Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. The normal buzz around the Lakers and Kobe Bryant is absent. This team is really losers of seven consecutive games. Mike, how do the Lakers write the ship? The game plan has to start with Kobe Bryant. Los Angeles needs Kobe to be superhuman in this one. This is the back end of a back-to-back. -back. The team got in late. They are really tired. And for this Lakers franchise, Clark, they've lost consecutive games by 25-plus points for the first time in their terrific team history. And, you know, Kevin, going back to their Minnesota days, Minneapolis, that is, the Lakers have never been blown out this badly in back-to-back -back games. I mean, they're really struggling at the offensive end, failing to get to 90 in each of their last two. They've got to knock down some threes, and as Mike said, Kobe will have to carry the load. Right now, the starting five for Coach Nate McMillan and his very young Trailblazer team. Rookie of the Year frontrunner Brandon Roy is at the two, with Jared Jack at the point. Ime Udoka and leading scorer Zach Randolph are the forwards. And the second overall pick in the draft, LaMarcus Aldridge is the seven. And for the struggling Laker team and Coach Bill Jackson, their five, the guards, Smush Parker, and the All-NBA force, Kobe Bryant. Sasha Vujicic, a late addition to the starting lineup, replacing Luke Walton, is the three. The front line, do-it-all power forward, Lamar Odom. And first overall pick, Kwame Brown. And guys, Kobe switching from the number eight to 24 during the offseason, telling us the change is about growth, a new mentality. 
maturing as a player and as a man. Yeah, Kev, let's remember, Kobe entered the league at just 18 years old, very young. Ryan had so much success wearing that number eight jersey, three titles, but he is ready for a new era. And I think he'll give us some memories wearing 24 as well. Bryant hits them both. My Kobe is on a heater of late. Wow. Averaging over 35 points per game during his last six games. It's been a month since he scored less than 25 in a game. And this Laker team tonight seems a little bit sluggish. They had issues getting from Denver back to L.A. last night. They are David Aldridge has the inside story there. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. After that loss last night in Denver, the Lakers didn't get back into L.A. until 6 a.m. this morning. Mechanical issues with their plane after boarding. The Lakers had to deep plane and hang out in a small private terminal for three hours. They eventually left Denver at 4.30 a.m. Mountain time. We'll see how much Los Angeles has left in the tank. Kevin? Thanks, DA. No rest for these Lakers. Mike, how does that affect them tonight? It'll have a big effect. Remember, they played last night at altitude, too, making tonight's game even more challenging. Well, Clark, this is a welcome sight for the Lakers. Lamar Odom is out there for L.A. Such a key part of this team, Kevin. I mean, he's been nursing that injured left shoulder after missing five games. Lamar returned last night in Denver. And quite expectedly, the Lakers lost all those games he missed. On loads, Roy with the bucket. Nice shot by Roy. He has excellent all-around skills. Here's Los Angeles now. Odom finds Bryant. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Tell you what, he looks laser focused out of the gate. Scary thought for the defense when he's locked in like that. And you worry about just how quickly he's working himself into a rhythm. Not what the D wants. Last night in Denver, the Lakers falling 113 to 86 to the Nuggets. LA just 3 of 22 from three point range. Yeah, it was a tough night for the Lakers, yet on the other side, the answer, Allen Iverson, 14 points, 13 assists. Melo had a game high 26. Denver leaping over the Lakers into the sixth seed in the West. The handles Kobe has are outrageous. You can tell how much he loves creating for himself. Kobe against Roy. Outside Randolph. Shot clock at five. Got a piece of it. For three, Roy. He doesn't hit that one. Some solid defense from Bryant. And so Brown will bring it up for the Lakers. They lead by four. A three ball. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Brown. Kobe's got 11 points. From deep, inside, outside, all level. Kobe can flat out get it done. So timeout call here in the first for Portland. During this timeout, they have to be talking about how to improve the offense. I think they're drawing up their best play, trying to get an easy bucket. A good after timeout play. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Shot from 12. Randolph can't hit. This is the back end of a back-to-back -back for the Lakers, Mike. What's it like to coach in one of these situations? Well, we usually coach the front end like a normal game. Try to win that one. Tonight, you just hope your stars can give you enough minutes. Trailblazers trail by nine. Outside Roy. Off the run. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Even though he's young, Roy understands how to get to the line, proving he's got some veteran savvy to him. This is his first free throw of the game. down the first one. 
what I appreciate about Roy is his work ethic. I mean, this is a kid that wants to be great in this league. He's off on the second. Los Angeles leading by eight. Here's Cody. Good! He's got 15 points this quarter. Early on, they built this lead on the power of paint points. Being aggressive in the paint can take a team out of a game early. This is Phil Jackson's 16th year as a head coach. The third seven-game losing streak is the longest of his career. Hey, look. When you've coached Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, there aren't going to be too many losing streaks on your resume. But I do know this has been very frustrating for Phil, the Zen Master, trying all of his tricks to get this team back on track. Here's Roy after the basket by the Lakers. Rebound the Lakers. Brown dishes to Bryant. Odom against Randolph. Odom, the pass to Kobe. Off target from three point range. Trailblazers trail by 10 to the paint. Boy kicks to Randolph. Basket counts. And that's Randolph's bread and butter. He works all the angles. Randolph's gone 50% so far. Two of four shooting. Their tempo has been the tempo of the game. Not just on offense, but on D as well. They've completely set the tone for this game. Shaq against Parker. Got a bad shot. And too long on the shot. Well, right before tip-off, we got word the Lakers were making a late change to the starting line. A group of all people scratched in the sore angle. Sasha Vujicic replaces Walton small forward. So it's Portland now. A 12 point game. Here's Jack. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Nice work inside by Jack. He loves getting as close to the basket as possible. And Clark with this already hurt the Lakers team. Not Adam Luke Walton is a big blow. Yes, it is. I mean, Walton really wanted to play. He missed 21 straight games with this ankle injury. Then played 29 minutes last night in Denver. The, the trainer's telling Luke he cannot play this back end of the back-to-back. -back. Walton very disappointed and upset. And that's a major loss for the Lakers tonight. Bryant dishes to Brown. Lakers passing it around. Goes up the baseline. The Lakers rebound inside. Here's Bryant. Good! 23 points for him. Their scoring has been a problem, been tough to handle. And it's enabled them to establish a substantial lead in the early goal. Jack passes to Roy. And the whistle blower, which is going to be on Lamar Odom. That is his first foul of the game. And the Lakers with some changes. Turry off. He's checked in for Brown. Evans comes in for Sasha Berkicic. And it's Formar in for Parker. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. McCor, he's checked in for Aldridge. Jones comes in for Udoka. Rodriguez is checked in for Brandon Roy. And it's Dickow in for Jared Jack. Out to the right wing. Here's Dickow. And the three off target. It's a four second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Farmar passes to Kobe. Evans trying to get open. It's in! Kobe's reached the 25 point mark for the 15th consecutive game. I like how Bryant takes contact on the way up. This guy is very good at feeling out the defense and, and absorbing that contact and still capitalizing. Out to the right wing. Here's Randolph. Ronnie Turioff, such an energetic player. Excellent defense there. And so it's Los Angeles. Sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've excelled in the open court. Their transition game has allowed them to build this healthy lead. And we'll be right back after this. And welcome back to downtown Los Angeles. The Steeple Center. Second quarter getting started. And so 
Lawrence Rodriguez with it. He brings it up for the Trailblazers. They trail by 14. And Kobe Bryant currently second in the NBA in scoring. Mike, last year, Kobe averaged over 35 points a game. And it was the highest mark, as we know, in the league since Michael Jordan back in 1987. This year, Kobe is at 29.1 points per contest. He's right behind Carmelo Anthony, who is at 29.8 per game. Right behind Kobe, Agent Zero, the owner of Rivers, scoring 28.9 points a night. Should be a fun three-horse race down the stretch. Here's Dick Al, following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Here's Dick Al, still yet to score, and out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. An unfortunate misfire. No justification the ball straight out of bounds. So for the Trailblazers, Utoka has checked in for Jones. Boy comes in for Sergio Rodriguez. And Jared Jack has subbed in for Dickow. Great first quarter for Kobe Bryant. Clark, his team needs that from him tonight. Zero doubt about it, guys. For the Lakers to do anything in the playoffs. They need Kobe to be the best player in the NBA. To play at an MVP level. Here's Roy following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Offensive rebound. Terry off with the block. Kobe is knocking down some nice looking baskets. They want to break this scoring drop, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. But more. And Turioff pulls it down. Los Angeles leading by 18. 33 points and in counting in this half. He is rolling. And, you know, their lead just continues to grow, and it's not just because of their offense. They're getting it done on both ends. Yeah, their defense has been stellar as well. Great work on both ends. No good from Jack. Jack's gone one of four so far. Now, Tyrioff. No scoring in this one. And it's Bryant missing. Kobe Bryant is cooking tonight. His season high. 58 in Charlotte in December, a triple overtime game. Bryant taking 42 shots, actually fouling out in that third overtime. I think he's got a great chance to get to 58 again tonight. Here's the Lakers with the ball. Good momentum, makes three points. Good, for 35 points in the half. Look at Bryant just outworking the inside defense and securing the high percentage shot. Our timeout called by Portland. Totally unacceptable, inexcusable, the number of points they're allowing inside. Yeah, coach can't be happy about that. They have to show more fight down there. Seems like it's going to be a little bit of hard enough for Kobe Bryant to get this one for 50%. But let's try to like get out of here and try to avoid it. And also Roy with 15 points. He has five right now. Almost got a steal, which would have been a close call. It was so close. So close getting the first steal. That would have been happening just like the last game to hold off on Jordan. He's checked in for the Lakers. Here comes in for Formo. And Portland with a change here too. Walter just checked in. Number two, around three minutes gone by. Shaq with it, and it's Oda picking him up. And he comes up with the deuce. Spectacular move off the dribble from Jack. Forget about how good his handle is. Well, Luke Walton was in the original lineup we were given. However, he was ruled out right before tip off. You know, that's a very rare occurrence in the NBA. So, David Aldridge, what are you hearing from the Lakers? Well, Kevin, Lou played for the first time last night in six weeks because of that sore ankle. Now, the plan was for him to play both ends of this back-to-back. -back. However, the Lakers training staff did not like how he was moving pregame. It was their call, not Luke's, for him to sit out tonight. Joel Walton is very upset in the locker room. Kevin? Oh, David, that's really tough for Luke, but give the trainers credit for having the players' best interest. Here's one. Following the basket by Kobe Bryant. That's to all. And the foul called on Kobe Bryant. 
That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Aldridge. It's stolen by Odom. Clever, crafty defense. He saw that pass coming before it was even made. Here's Kobe. Got it. 14 points for him in the quarter. So explosive in the open floor. Once Bryant turns on the Jets, watch out. We've got more than a month, Clark, left in the season, but there is zero doubt that Brandon Roy will win the Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I concur. I mean, Roy's been a Rookie of the Month the previous two months. Looks like he'll win it in March, too. Had a knee injury to start the season, but since he's come back, he has been incredible. 16, 4, and 4 is what he's averaged. He's like a 6'6 point guard, playmaker, score. This future's so bright. It's good. Boy, oh, he's got seven points in the game. Boy, oh, I tell you what, nice work offensively. Jack making the right read there. To the middle. Two minutes. Oh, Odom kicks the coach. Watches from deep. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bryant. Another right look now for Portland. Jones checked in for Roy. And Rodriguez is subbed in for Jim. Mike, it hasn't been their night. Everything seems to be going wrong for them. They can't get stops, and their offense hasn't been there either. Mm -mm. They're in trouble, Kev. They are, Coach. And it's a thing. He plays with so much ferocity, erasing that size mismatch clearly. He won't be bullied in there, regardless of the height disadvantage. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 16-6 run. It's been three weeks, Mike, since the Lakers won here in Staples in L.A. Back on February 23rd, and that night they beat the struggling Celtics 122-91. But yeah, Boston is 19 and 45, last in the East. Kobe had 38 in that victory. They aren't used to this in LA. These home fans hungry for a win. I think they could have gotten a better look there. And he was just a little over anxious to get a shot off. Here's Bryant. That one, no good. Some solid defense from Aldridge. A challenging stretch here for Portland. Here's Udoka. Good team by Parker. And so Brown will bring it up for the Lakers. Here's Bryant. And Cody scores. It's his 10th 40 plus point game of the year. Another 40 point night for Kobe. This is becoming common for the future Hall of Fame. Here's Rodriguez. And Odom pulls it down. Odom's got rebound number eight now on the night. Evans passes to Parker. The kick out to Brown. Outside, Bryant. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. There's so much to like about Bryant's game, but the X factor in my mind is his unmatched competitiveness and work rate. This guy has an inexhaustible appetite for work. First one falls for him. Sixty-seven percent. Gotta watch out. Both free throws good for Bryant. Here's Dickow. Passes to Aldridge. Kicks it out to Jones. Over Evans. And the last second attempt is not going for him. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. This has been a remarkable game for him offensively. Anytime you get over the 40-point mark, it's been a special, special day. We'll return shortly. Glistening downtown Los Angeles. So much activity around the Staples Center. We're back from halftime with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan from Southern California. It has been a 
bad season for the Lakers, Mike. Two months ago, this team was 26 and 13. They were third in the West, but they've hit a rough patch of late, and it has not been pretty. Just 7 and 19 since that nice start. Scoring outside of Kobe has been a massive issue for LA. Here's Kobe after the main shot from Zach Brandon. Baseline try. Making it 47 points right now. Kobe Bryant so hard to slow down. What a gifted offensive play. There's the master roll. The kick out to Jack. Beyond the arc. That ball. Great assist by Brandon Roy. Roy's got five assists in the game. Lakers leading by 23. Parker finds Odom. Bryant outside. Brown trying to free himself up. He's earned a spot in this league because of his defensive intensity. That time, he made Odoka with great anticipation. Los Angeles foul. Sasha Luyicic. That's his first. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Los Angeles foul. You know what time it is. Jesus God. Yeah, I gotta change that one up again because I wanna do something else right now. So gotta do some a little bit of an in-between of those two and then crash one of them out again. And then this one I just gotta make sure I have it played out here. There we go. Right now he's already at 66%. Just to keep it all focused, he's got a long way to go. Try to keep it out of here. All right, all good to go. Let the play resume. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Pass to Jack. With the teardrop, he had told him by Los Angeles. Odom's got nine rebounds now tonight. During the offseason, Clark, Devin George starting with that. All that means outside of Kobe, every player from those three peat Laker teams is gone. Yet, yeah, look at the roster, and it's just Kobe and Luke Walton left from that last finals team in 04. We're seeing this all around the league, though, Kevin. More player movement. Oh, there's no stopping Kobe Bryant. Tonight, his Jack surveying the D and taken away by Brown. Here's Bryant. Gets it to go. That's 53 points. He's at 50. This guy's from another planet. Unreal stuff from Kobe tonight. And here are the Trailblazers now. That's to Randall. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh. Defending Randolph, you know he's got every trick in the book, and yet he still finds a way to trick you. At first trip to the line for him here. Zach Randolph, two shots. The free throw drops for Randolph. Mike, here we are talking about the NBA this season. It is very clear the West is the stronger conference. The best four records in the league are all in the West. Remember, six of the last eight titles have been won by the Western Conference. The Lakers fighting for a playoff spot. If they were in the East, they'd be in the postseason easy. You know, I think what's great about Zach Randolph is his workmanlike approach. He's all business out there. He puts in the sweat and the grit and both in. It drops. He's got 55. Found the crease, took advantage, and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. Roy with it. Picked up by Brown. From the baseline. Second shot opportunity, and it's blocked by Brown. In high school, Brown blocked nearly six shots a game. He's good at making his presence felt on D. Kobe's shot is off. 
you expect to get two points there. A little unlucky for them. Here's Boy, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Lamar Owen picks one up. That was an easy call on that shot. Refs will call that one 10 out of 10 times. The Trailblazers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And that one misses. He has five, so he might be going for one. And he's good on the second. Clark, this is the 15th 50-plus point game in Kobe Bryant's career. And you know what? That puts him in all-time company. It sure does, Clark. Only both Michael Jordan and Elgin Baylor have had four. How about that list? Time call here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Kobe Bryant really making a difference here. I know what they're talking about in this home. Figuring out a way to slow him down. Just a few more seconds, and then we'll get back into it. The Kobe Bryant Challenge is brought to you part by your local Kia dealers, the moment that inspires. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by State Farm. Call and get a free quote now at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Los Angeles on D. Jack passes to Randall. Pass break. The Lakers moving it up. Outside Odom. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. A shot by Bryant. No good. Well, Mike, there's only a month left in this season. Let me put you on the spot as I love to do. Who is your MVP? I go with Dirk Nowitzki. His Mavs are 53 and 11, running away with the West. Coming off that finals appearance, Dirk has taken his game to another level. He could go 50 40 90. Now here's Bryant. Non stop scoring machine here. That's too easy for Kobe. The closer he gets, the more dangerous he becomes. To the right side. It's deflected. Here's the three. The rebound by McClure. McClure's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Roy. Here's Jack. Up and in on the layup. Jack's got nine. Can't phase Jack. Knocks down the tough jumper. And so is Parker with it. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. It's Kobe Bryant on the way. Rebound by the Trailblazers. And that's a strong defensive effort to force the miss, especially against someone of his caliber. Two minutes play against Odom. And then Roy with the dunk. The trade deadline passing a few weeks ago, Mike, the big deal was made in December. With former MVP Allen Iverson sent to Denver. The answer joining forces with Carmelo Anthony. Look at Tom Colton offensively. Blew out the Lakers last night. I have no idea how you defend both of those guys. Here's Jack following the basket by Kobe Bryant. And here's Roy. Randolph dishes to Roy. No luck, they battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. The Lakers on offense. Here's Kobe. Roy with some nice D. Boy, I love the aggressive defense he brings. You've got to respect and appreciate that. This is why his guys love him. The effort he gives on the defensive end is awesome. And Los Angeles with some changes. Ronnie Turioff, he's checked in for Brown. Evans comes in for Vujicic. And it's Farmer in for Parker. Jones checked in for the Trailblazers. Dickow comes in for Jared Jack. Here's Dickow. Scoreless thus far. A rebound by the Lakers. Turioff's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Bryant. And Kobe again. 63, the second most in his terrific career. 
Well, Clark, last year was the first season of the draft under this new CBA. The biggest change, no more jumping straight from high school to the NBA like Kobe Bryant did 11 years ago. Yeah, that's been modified a bit, so we're seeing these so-called one-and-done guys. They've got to be 19 and one year removed from their high school graduating class to get Again, Kobe! 65 points! The most ever by a Blazers opponent. They need to find a high percentage shot, Clark, to regain some of that confidence. I think they've gone too long without seeing one go down, and that begins to mess with your psyche. The shot's good from Randolph. Randolph. Well, Randolph is an excellent offensive rebound, and once he grabs it, he goes right back up with it. Oh, then the pass to Kobe. Baseline jumper, and Evans gets it to go on the assist from Kobe. I think you got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. you got to continue to fight through. And Coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that or lack of one, that is. Kobe Bryant getting it done for L.A. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dipped into the pace of the entire quarter. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Set for the final quarter of play. LA and Portland finishing things up here from Staples. Here's Odom. Despite pretty much no sleep last night, Mike, Kobe Bryant is having another incredible game. Well, he's the reason that the Lakers are up. I mean, Bryant is just determined to end this losing streak, even if he has to practically do it by himself. Rodriguez feeling it out a bit. Over Kobe. That one wide left. As usual, he's locked and loaded, laser focused on D. That's a nice shot contest. Yeah, that's where you prefer to work the ball to someone else for a better look. Hold it. Good. And Farmer gets the assist. Odom is at his best inside, able to play through contact and still finish. Here's Dickow. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. To the inside. Six on the shot clock. Kobe against Rodriguez. He's off from 17 feet. Rodriguez has gone just one of five from the field. Outside, Kobe. It is now to Bujicic. Backed in off the glass. Always oh, nice to see Bryant find the open man. He gets so much attention on himself. That helps create opportunities for other guys. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. When you're down and losing, those plays just cannot happen. You need to stay locked in mentally. Mistakes like that will kill you. Los Angeles making a switch here. Odmanovich has checked in. And it's Farmall with the ball for Los Angeles. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been fairly strong, allowing no baskets. He's able to get it in close, but what a reaction by the defense. Getting there to shut him down. Here's Jones. And the layup is good. Hey, That's the kind of look you're working towards. Nice play. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Cody. It's in. 67 points on the game. Tonight has been all about Kobe. He's unstoppable. He reached that 60-point mark. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Kobe Bryant. for Bryant. An incredible night from Kobe Bryant. It's reminding me of that 81 point outburst last year against Toronto. The second most points ever in an NBA game. If the Lakers keep feeding Kobe, I think he's got a shot to get to 80 or more tonight. Dickow's shot is off. Clark, how about the unselfishness of this team? Love the willingness to make that extra pass and it has the defense in the scramble mode. 
here's Farmar. The French pulls it in. Here's the Trailblazers with the ball. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for them. And they need to recover as soon as possible. With the drive, Dickow, the pass to all. And it's out of bounds to Portland. They'll retain possession. Oh, the ball. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Dickow's shot is off. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Bryant. Kobe, he's up to 70. An all-time performance. There have just been two players that have ever had multiple 70-point games. Wilt and now Kobe. Rodriguez. Portland, no good that time either. You know, you got to feel for him. He just cannot seem to buy a bucket here. Yeah, but he has to stop shooting. He's really hurting his team. Oh, man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Jordan Farmer. for Farmar. A very steady point guard. Jordan Farmar doesn't do anything flashy. He's looking to run the offense, get good looks for his team. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. I love that possession. Get the ball close to the hoop. A winning play. Farmar kicks to Kobe. Kujicic dishes to Bryant. It in for 27 points in this half. Well, that's just a demonstration of terrific ball skills from Kobe. Avoided the defender and gets it to fall inside. Here's Dickow. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Left side, Kobe. Lakers working the ball around now. Rodmanovich kicks to Bujicic. From downtown, and what Monovich gets a three. Enjoying this big lead, and right now they look unstoppable on offense. Everything is going exactly how their coach drew it up. Top to bottom, this is the pinnacle of execution. Aldridge with it, working on Turioff. Aldridge, the pass to Rodriguez. Five to shoot over Bryant. A shot by Rodriguez, no good. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 19 to 4 run. Here's Turioff. Good. And Farmar gets the assist. Farmar's got six assists now in the game. Tight defense. But Turioff sinks it despite the contact. Dickow, the pass to Aldridge. Double team on Aldridge. Over Farmar, a nice shot by Aldridge. And Aldridge has a number of moves to choose from inside, which is why his teammates feed him. Rodmanovich kicks to Farmar. One twenty-seven left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Rodmanovich on the wing, Kobe. Great touch there from Bryant on the runner. Nice. Dickow, the pass to LaFrance. Takes it inside. Turry off with the block. So Phil Jackson has decided to take a timeout here. Mark. Yeah, he's Let's see who wants the ball. Let's go crazy. Let's have a look at what the field of goal percentage is. As you may have already noticed, only 67% was holding it from here. And a good way about holding Roy is under 15 points, just 10 that he've got.
So uh, it's all for him, so only two did turn out to be the best. Because of that, that has to be the end for one last tradition. Not quite easy enough of how much they're doing it, but they're just getting a lot much better to get off, away from it, and an endo streak run to move it on. Tomorrow is checked in for Red Monovich. Randolph's checked in for Portland. Mike, they have been fantastic tonight, haven't they? What a performance from them. Kobe kicks the farm off. Back to Bryant. Down low. Here's Turioff. That's in. Coming off an assist by Kobe. Well, they have shown up at just the right time, putting the finishing touches on this game. This run absolutely closes the door on any chance of a surprise ending. That'll do it. Rodriguez against Kobe. Rodriguez in the post. Jones, no one around him. Broadside side off the mark. And here's the Lakers. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Outside for Kobe. Farmar deciding where to go with it. He gets it in there. Such a repeatable stroke from Farmar makes it easy to knock down that in-between shot. Here's Dick out. He has a great tonight. Another out of this way. Performance by Patello from the great Kobe Bryant. And Kobe is why this losing skid has ended. Bryant was marvelous. Had total control of this game. Thank you. Looking like the best player in the world. And honestly, Clark, we were just in awe. All of us know what Kobe did right before us tonight. Hey, it's simple. Sometimes you simply have to sit back and enjoy what you are seeing. Kobe treated us to an all-timer tonight. Basketball history made. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Here with the Lakers, Kobe Bryant. Kobe, is this the kind of compete level that you're trying to get on a nightly basis? Well, for sure. I mean, it starts on the defensive end. And, you know, we did a much better job tonight being physical and you know, making our presence felt. And uh, that's where we have to hang our heads. Well, the effort was certainly there tonight. Thanks very much. Kevin? David, thank you as always. So, for Mike Pagello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching this 2K sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time. And I will do the mission number five. That will be two stars to earn and holding Braden Roy, Brandon Roy, excuse me, turned out great than ever. But no steals were given out, but it was too close to call. Well, I guess that does seem to say if you never know where the achievement is, that's a mini Mamba moment that I have unlocked. But in that moment, that's going to be where it ends up for this fifth challenge. The sixth challenge is where we all come in for only two more to go. The new era of 2008. That'll be the next one on its way down, and then the last one will appear in the seventh mission of the game. This is what it does turn out to be May 29th, 2008, of the Western Conference Finals of Game 5, Lakers and Spurs. We'll try to see what happens, if there's another way to try to keep their eyes on the rhythm. In the meantime, thank you all for watching, and as always, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my social media on X, Instagram, and TikTok on my about page. See you all day again for a while as the moment, moment of the Kobe Bryant challenge style. This is Son of Beast. I'm out of here. See you folks next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.